Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today in Critical Legends, I'm doing a full guide on the Death Ray class, including some amazing setups with it so you guys can try it out for yourselves. So step one to getting the Death Ray class is coming to the Samurai Islands and then talking to the guy up here that sells a bunch of recipes. So in order to get the Death Ray, you must get its predecessor, the Railgun. And to get the Railgun, you gotta get 50 Meteorite Elements. So to get Meteorite Elements, what you must do is go to the first spawn in the game, the place you spawn when you rebirth. Once you are here, this is very, very close to the meteorite spawn location. You want to come up to these mountains over here, and then you want to keep on going this direction. And then on top of these cliffs up here, a meteorite will fall in this general area right over here. It falls about every 10 minutes. And to get the meteorite elements, all you got to do is interact with this. And unfortunately, you can only get one every single time it falls. So it takes a very long time to get 50 meteorite elements. But anyways, once you obtain 50 of those, just go back to the guy I was talking to a second ago and get the railgun from him. Once you actually get the railgun from the guy, what you then must do is get an otherworldly creature, which does also come from this meteorite. So by the time you get 50 meteorite elements, you'll probably have at least one otherworldly creature. Anyways, you put it in your active slot, and then once you're in a battle, as long as the Railgun class is on and you use it, you will get the Death Ray class. Let's go over some awesome class builds. So, Wonder of You is going to be in the first slot, of course, and then after that, you are going to want the Frosty Demon God armor, because it gives so much magic and everything else. And then if you don't have the Frosty Demon God armor, because it was a limited item from the Christmas event, I would recommend trying to obtain the Knowledge Cube. This is a pretty solid alternative, and this actually comes from the meteorite that you guys will be farming for the meteorite element so you'll probably get some of these and then another one that's a pretty decent passive is also the strength saga it gives a lot of magic but you're getting a ton of mana from that and then you're also going to want her staff and this lets you get crazy amounts of magic damage and then in your active slots, what you're going to want is a couple of things. One, you're going to want the Dark Burn Scroll. You're also going to want Jingle Bells. And then your last move, you're going to want the Love Heal Scroll because healing is very important with this build. So if you don't have the Jingle Bells active because it was an event item that is no longer obtainable, I do kind of recommend you use the Cloud Jump Scroll over it, which might sound weird because this isn't a buff of damage, but there really isn't another good alternative. Alpha Rune, you're not going to want to use because it uses all of your mana and then you're not gonna be able to heal yourself and cloud jump is honestly very very nice because you can just use this to dodge enemies as well as traverse terrain for your stats you're gonna want 204 points in health and 596 in magic and this will allow you to get 5.2k hp a thousand shield and 5,000 magic damage and this results in an amazingly powerful class because every time you use dark burn you lose half your health but then you just use the love heal scroll and you're back to max hp and then jingle bells is very good because it costs no mana to use and overall you can just get a stupid amount of damage with this now let's say you don't have the wonder of you if you don't have the wonder of you i would just simply replace it with hp and then use all of the same things after so hp frosty demon god armor and then also the her staff if you're using this build setup instead what i'd recommend doing is taking all of your points and putting them all into magic now this will not be as effective but it does still work you still have a crazy amount of damage output and you're gonna die a lot less often just the first build variation is definitely better. Anyways, guys, that is my class build guide on the Death Ray, as well as my guide on how to obtain it. This video is pretty dang short, but hopefully it helped you all out when figuring out how this class works and what to actually use with it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.